I know you are set to start reopening your theaters on July 31st, but analysts are saying that some of the big movies set for August are going to be delayed again until September. What are the chances you really have audiences in theaters at the beginning of August? To be frank, I will tell you, I wish I knew. But I think that in a way, we are ready. We, we are really uh, have prepared our cinemas, we prepared our team, and we really want to go back. We have today somewhere around 35,000 people, employees, that are at home. And uh, uh, we really want to go back. We got very, very warm welcome on our website from all our customers when we announced that we are going to open. But on the other hand, we need, first of all, to put in priority the safety and the health of our customers and our team. And of course, to follow the rules that are being given in every state uh, uh, by the governors. So uh, it is difficult to say. I think that we still have a good chance to open on the 31st of July. But if things will not uh, uh, improve uh, in the coming days, they might be uh, in another delay. Our responsibility, of course, as management of the company, is to take care that we will be ready to both ways. Either we open on the 31st of July or that we will need to wait a little bit more. Uh, now, there was a group of six movie theater chains, including Regal, that sued New Jersey for refusing to let theaters open in the state. What were you hoping to gain with that lawsuit in terms of precedent? I, I think it's not the issue to gain. I think that what we've noticed is that the churches, for example, and some other facilities were allowed to open. We strongly believe that if you compare cinemas to restaurants and to other activities, we are less dangerous than the others. We, in the cinema, we need to remember that everybody sits in his seat. All the people are facing the same direction. You are not uh, uh, sitting one opposite the other. Uh, you have a social distancing, which we prepared our uh, software specially to take care of, uh, between the different groups of customers, so family can sit together, but, uh, 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 of course, you are not sitting uh, close to other people. All this uh, is prepared, and relatively people are not talking through the movie, people are not singing through the movie, and uh, almost not singing through the movie. And uh, uh, I think that the cinema is a safe place. And the only thing that we wanted uh, to show is the fact that we want to be treated equally uh, uh, by the authorities. Now, in terms of getting audiences back into theaters, COVID and the shutdowns have transformed the movie industry because now you are competing with content that people can also watch at home. We've seen day and date releases. We're going to see more of them, a shortened window between movies when movies are available at home and in theaters. How are you going to compete now with the living room? I was surprised. First of all, there was not even one day and date release. Universal wanted to release Troll as a day and date release, but by the time they released it, the cinemas were already closed. And we would have never agreed to show the movie day and date with home entertainment. One of the uh, uh, basics of our business is the priority of the theatrical window. And we believe this is really the best way to watch a movie. And I will even maybe surprise you if I will tell you that the more the movie is generating income in the cinema, the more it's then doing money in home entertainment. This is sounds a little bit strange, maybe, but we have not changed our policy. Mm. And everybody that will want and will agree to respect the theatrical window, we will be very happy to show uh, their movies in our cinemas.